Over a decade after its release, Ocarina of Time is still revered as one of the most accomplished gaming experiences. It's the landmark title that pushed the boundaries of what was possible, and it successfully converted 2D Zelda into 3D. We've been waiting for a game in the series to surpass it, but it's arguably still the king. Nintendo will soon revisit the title in a remix for the 3DS, but how is it possible to make the greatest even better? Hey! Listen! One of the biggest selling points of the new 3DS hardware is obviously its namesake, and Ocarina of Time 3D will be a prominent selling point for Nintendo's technical marvel. But we're hoping the perspective is put to better use than just as a visual gimmick. The developers have hinted as much, but specifics haven't been forthcoming. But outside of making the game look better, how can 3D be applied to combat and puzzle solving? We're anticipating an added visual twist to the lens of truth and mirror shield, and perhaps a new 3D-aware targeting system for the boomerang, slingshot, and hookshot. On the N64, the original was able to mask the scope of its environments, but in 3D, the background will come into focus a little easier, and the textures will have to hold up. We've come a long way since the N64 controller, and the 3DS's analog nub makes it perfectly suited to adapt Ocarina of Time's control scheme. But even with a traditional control setup, some of Ocarina of Time's mechanics are a bit tedious. Producer Eiji Anuma already mentioned that changing out the iron boots constantly in the dreaded water temple would be tweaked, and what better way to achieve this than with the simple tap of the stylus. By having your items just a touch away, it'll streamline the experience. Blowing into the mic to play an instrument wasn't the best idea in Spirit Tracks, but using the stylus to play the ocarina is another story. Scribbling on maps, tapping on vendor menus, and dragging the in-game camera around would also keep frustration at bay. The dungeons in Ocarina of Time stand as some of the best the industry has to offer, but there are rumors that a dungeon or two were axed from the final version. It's rare that developers have a second chance at developing the same game twice, so now would be the perfect opportunity to make amends and reintroduce the missing content. But even if there's no room for extra dungeons, reworking the existing dungeons to mix things up in the vein of Master Quest, or simply tweaking them, could keep the experience even fresher. Speaking of Master Quest, we expect it to be included in some form, possibly as a second quest for completing the game. Hey, listen! Ocarina of Time not only updated the few classic tunes the Zelda series was known for at the time, but invented the majority of the most popular songs and melodies reused in subsequent entries and replayed in concert halls around the world. The N64 was capable of high-quality music, but the memory limitations of a cartridge-based medium forced Nintendo to go with MIDI-style tracks. The brief video shown off at E3 included a revamped tune from the original Ocarina of Time, and hopefully it's an indication of what's to come. Given the 3DS's capabilities, Koji Kondo and the crack sound team at Nintendo should spare no effort providing Ocarina the quality orchestral goodness it deserves. Riding a Pona across Hyrule Field stands as one of the most vivid images of the series, but the full potential of that mechanic wasn't realized until the more recent Twilight Princess. Though the Wii first introduced players to fighting on horseback, Miyamoto went on record explaining it was a concept he had hoped to implement back in Ocarina of Time. Now that the blueprint exists, we expect to see on-horse sword swinging make a return appearance. And given that Hyrule Field lacked a significant enemy presence, the overworld better get a revamp to accommodate the new feature. If Ocarina of Time were re-released on any console at any time, it would remind everyone why it leads polls and countdowns year after year. But to have a remake to such a gem of a game on a brand new console introducing never-before-owned technology is a rare event indeed. We feel our wishes have already been answered, but it never hurts to wish for a little more. <laughs>